first half success. Pruitt performs again. Wild Wheels Classic Cars. All right now on Stellantis Spotlight. Stellantis' Dare Forward 2030 strategic plan is progressing at full speed, supported by record profitability and accelerating sales of low-emission vehicles, which include battery electric vehicles, plug-in hybrid vehicles, and fuel cell electric vehicles. The first half saw net revenues of 88 billion euros, a 17% increase compared to the first half of 2021. Stellantis saw an overall net profit of 8 billion euros, up 34% compared to H1 2021, and an adjusted operating income of 12.4 billion euros, up 44% compared to H1 2021, with all five regions seeing double-digit margins. Stellantis Chief Executive Officer Carlos Tavares stated, Together with our employees' resiliency, agility, and entrepreneurial mindset, and our innovative partners, we are shaping Stellantis into a sustainable mobility tech company that's fit for the future. Tony Stewart Racing top fuel pilot Leah Pruitt followed up last weekend's win by rolling into Sonoma Nationals and immediately taking the Race Routine Foundation Dodge SRT top fuel dragster to her first number one qualifier position of the season. Pruitt took the top spot on the eliminations ladder to earn TSR's first top fuel pole position, but it wasn't enough to defeat her opponent in the quarterfinals. Pruitt holds onto her sixth position in the Top Fuel Championship standings. The team gets ready for Northwest Nationals at Pacific Raceways near Seattle, Washington, July 29th through 31st. And finally, the 15th edition of Wild Wheels at Work, the annual employee car show, was held this past week, featuring nearly 220 employee-owned trucks, cars, motorcycles, bicycles, and other vehicles. The show saw a turnout of more than 1,000 employees and family members who toured through rows of finely polished vehicles, like a 1967 Plymouth Barracuda, 1988 205 Peugeot, and a 1976 AMC Gremlin. The yearly event is a great opportunity for employees to show their passion for the automotive industry and connect with colleagues to swap stories and snap ample photos of all of the unique and classic vehicles on display. Those are this week's top stories on Stellantis Spotlight. Reporting for Stellantis Digital Media, I'm Peter Spezia.